I'm Andy Bales. I want to give you an end of April update from Union Rescue Mission in Los Angeles. And uh, we're so excited. So many good things have happened in April. We can't wait for May. Uh, but uh, the biggest thing that happened this month is we opened our Angeles house, Family Bridge Housing at 132nd and Avalon, 86 units of family housing. This is a tremendous accomplishment. So many people involved. I can't begin to name names, but uh, we've raised nearly 55 million to both strengthen uh, the facility at Union Rescue Mission and the Hope Gardens and build and complete Angelus House. And we're working on the final 800,000 to operate Angelus House for the first three years. In fact, we, we not only had our grand opening, the next day, Wells Fargo showed up in Brinks trucks and brought Easter baskets to all the families at Angelus House. And not only on that same weekend uh, did we open Angelus House, but that Saturday night, April 16th, we held uh, the, the TV special, Angels of Hope TV special on CBS2 from 6.30 to 8 to transform lives here in the city of Angels, Los Angeles. Perhaps we can even live up to that name. We can be the city of Angels if we'll sincerely address homelessness. And we've been, um, we've been consulting with mayoral candidates and they are promising to provide immediate housing, treat, it like, treat this like the FEMA-like disaster that it is, provide immediate housing and innovative, affordable, immediate housing. We can only hope and pray for that opportunity. We also had a foot washing out at Hope Gardens by All Nations Church, our dear friends at All Nations Church. It's, a, it's our place to escape when we have fires, but it's also a place of servant leadership that shows up and loves our guests at Hope Gardens Family Center. And of course, we had our Easter sunrise service on top of our Union Rescue Mission rooftop downtown, where I was able to share uh, not only a great chapter from Mark that explains the, the women being the most faithful, showing up first at the tomb, uh, but we also celebrated the loss of a dear friend, a dear friend of mine, Tom Helsebeck. Uh, he perished uh, on a walk in the mountains and uh, all of our guys, pray for our guys on the fifth floor. They are a community, uh, the ambassador community, and they dearly love Tom. And uh, I, I, uh, I know it was very hard on their hearts as it was on mine. John Lockmer and I, our, our uh, Director of Integrated Marketing, were able to travel to Colorado Springs to focus on the family headquarters, sit around at the Edgewater Conference and learn from the best Christian fundraisers in our country. I can't thank Steve Woodward and Masterworks enough for that opportunity. And we learned from the best. We took a lot of ideas home and that we're going to continue to do our best. Uh, in fact, you can help because right now, from May 1st to the year end, June 30th, we have a match, an opportunity to match up to $500,000 of the, of the funds that come in. You can make sure your gift is double, matched and double to make a huge impact. Thank you. Uh, we've done all of this that I've described with private money only. We can't take government money. It comes with a uh, strings that are just too hard to bear. Not only can we not share our faith, but uh, you're required uh, by this funding to allow alcohol and drugs to flow freely. And we refuse to do that. We believe in a sober, safe environment. We believe in recovery. We believe in the transformation of lives. And you make that happen. You help us save lives and you help us change lives. Uh, through the power of Jesus Christ. We can't thank you enough. God bless you.